Contender Regime Boxing checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? Former undisputed cruiserweight champion Alexander Usyk took on Anthony Joshua, former unified heavyweight champion, in a very, very competitive and extremely cerebral and intelligent tactical matchup at heavyweight. You've seen two guys uh, boxing, using skill, using the ring, uh, foot movement, head movement. And you saw Alexander Usyk separate himself in the skills department from Anthony Joshua. He went in there and pretty much showed that he was the more skilled guy. He was a more experienced fighter. Um, he had more tools. He had a, a deeper uh, bag of tools and skills that he can dip into. Um, he showed you the ring generalship. He pretty much showed you everything that you want to see from a heavyweight in terms of overall boxing skills. And I liked what I saw from both guys in certain points of the fight. As far as Anthony Joshua goes, I did like the fact that he made some adjustments in the middle of the fight where he started to lead with the straight right. Uh, started to go to the body more with that right uppercut to the body, something that I felt like he should have been doing early in the fight to slow Alexander Usyk down. Um, you know, but it just wasn't enough. Usyk came out and jumped out three zip on the cards. He came out and started fast. He was very active. He was moving, fainting a lot, uh, throwing. He was, uh, you know, putting that jab out there and then throwing that straight left. And then a lot of times he would lead with the straight left, just timing and lining Anthony Joshua up, who was literally just straight on the line with not much head movement and not too many different angles. And Alexander Usyk took advantage of that. And he went out there and, um, you know, had a great game plan. He he did. He started out fast. Anthony Joshua, in my opinion, took control more so of the middle of the fight, even though the rounds were kind of going back and forth. Anthony Joshua did pull off a string of a couple of rounds here and there. I scored the fight 7-5 for, for Usyk. So it was a competitive fight, though Usyk did show a lot of dominance in the most important parts of the fight, which is why I believe he got the victory. Um, I wasn't tripping on the scorecards at all. They were pretty accurate, especially the 115 and 113. That was my score, you know, but I wasn't mad if, uh, if Usyk got some of those swing rounds because there were some very, very close rounds that could have went either way. So I'm not tripping on the fact that the other two judges gave him uh, two of those two or three of those swing rounds so overall it was a very fun matchup to watch it went by really fast and that's how you know a fight is good when the rounds is just flying by i'm like damn you know what i'm saying i'm like i wish we had 15 round fights again you know what i'm saying because the fight was just going by so fast and one thing i want to say man we already knew anthony joshua was a was kind of you know, clumsy or um, a little bit stiff and tripping over himself and not really just, he just doesn't fight very fluid. When he throws combinations, sometimes depending on the opponent, he can run off a combination of four, five, six punches and make it look fluid. But when he get in there with somebody with the footwork like Alexander Usyk, which is not a lot of guys like that at heavyweight anyway, but when you get in there with somebody that can move and give you different looks, Anthony Joshua really does get exposed. And in this fight, Usyk took advantage of that, and he showed that Anthony Joshua really has a hard time keeping up with guys that have movement and can give you different angles. And, um, you know, Joshua, like I said, he did make an adjustment in the fight, but Usyk made an adjustment to the adjustment um, I saw Usyk start, you know, towards the middle in the late part of the fight. He started to let off early in the round or he might come out early in the round, try to hit Joshua with some, try to hit him with a straight left. And then he'll let off and then start to finish the, the last 30 seconds, 45 seconds of the round. And that really does sway the judges. 
and which is a great strategy, especially when you're actually doing good work and you're landing shots, which is what Usyk was doing. So he really put on a masterclass performance versus the heavyweight champion who was the unified heavyweight champion. And I, I just want to give kudos to Usyk because you see, I have him on my pound for pound list. He's definitely going to move up spots. Some people feel like you know, he shouldn't be on, on the pound for pound list. At least before this fight, people were giving me stuff talking about, well, Usyk shouldn't be on there. He ain't did and he ain't fought nobody. But this is why I put him on there because, number one, I don't put heavyweights on the list. But unless you're a heavyweight that came up from a lower division, and this is why it was so impressive to me, why Usyk was so impressive to me, because, number one, he cleared out cruiserweight, fought the best guys there, became undisputed and then he said all right let me challenge myself and go up to another division the heavyweight division which i mean this is the the best of the best this is these are the most dangerous guys in boxing and you can't go no higher than the heavyweight division so he said fuck that i'm gonna go up, i'm gonna go up to heavyweight and test my skills and he had a couple of you know in my opinion were mediocre outings which kind of gave me a little bit of uh hesitation on um you know his what I thought his chances were gonna be versus Anthony Joshua. I knew he had the skills and I knew stylistically he matched up well with having the speed, both foot and hand speed advantage, and then overall having a better boxing skills. Um just guys extremely skilled. You know what I'm saying? So I just wondered whether or not he could take a punch from a guy like Anthony Joshua, whether his punch would be enough to hurt a guy like Anthony Joshua. He showed that he was able to get Joshua's respect and hurt him multiple times in a fight. So that really impressed me a lot for him to be undisputed at cruiserweight and then go up to heavyweight. So a guy like that can be on the pound for pound list because he's not a true heavyweight. He's moved up divisions, which, you know, that right there alone is one of the staples of being a pound for pound fighter being able to show dominance in different divisions so that's one of the things that can give you a a, a huge a huge bonus in my book and for him to become unified champion beat the heavyweight champion uh one of the top three fighters in the heavyweight division that speaks volumes now he's one belt one fight one win away from being undisputed at heavyweight which if he's able to do that keep in mind the only other motherfucker that did that in well nobody's done it in the four belt era um outside of clarissa shields clarissa shields is the only one that ever did undisputed in two different weight classes. she's currently undisputed in two different weight classes at the same damn time i don't think nobody ever did that you know what i'm saying but in the four belt era uh clarissa shields is the only one that's undisputed in two different weight classes um terence crawford has an opportunity to do it at welterweight because he's been undisputed at 140 alexander Usyk now has a chance to do it at heavyweight after being undisputed at cruiserweight in the in boxing history in general there's only been one guy that's done it period outside of clarissa shields he did it in the three belt era evander holyfield who in the same position that Usyk is in now, he was undisputed at cruiser and then went up to heavyweight and became undisputed. So Alexander Usyk definitely has an opportunity to do something special and make history. And I mean, I would love to see him try it. You know, um, I know that there's a rematch clause for him and Joshua. I actually think Usyk will go into that fight as a heavy favorite. I just think stylistically what he showed in that fight, I really don't see Joshua being able to make too many adjustments. If you look at the adjustment that he made versus um, Andy Ruiz, he chose to box more in that fight. And Ruiz was out of shape, but I'm not going to take credit away from Joshua. He made an adjustment, fought a different fight, and he won in a, in a master class boxing performance. But he can't do that versus Usyk. He's not going to out class or outbox Alexander Usa. He gonna have to like fight him, rough him up and beat him. Now that's possible because at heavyweight anything can happen, but I will heavily favor Usa going into that rematch. And then we'll see what happens on October, what is it, the third or the sixth with Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury of the, the uh, trilogy. I expect that fight to be nothing but fireworks and i'm expecting the unexpected in that fight so whatever happens there 
I'm interested to see if, you know, if Wilder wins, they do a four fight or, you know, hold off a little bit and then probably link up for a fourth time later on. We really don't know what that's going to look like. If Fury wins that fight, then I would like to see him fight the winner out of the rematch. If Usyk wins, if Joshua wins, of course, they're going to have a third fight. So um, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. How did y'all feel about Alexander Usyk's performance? Where do you now rank him on your pound for pound list? Um, and what does this mean for the heavyweight division? Because I think Usyk put the heavyweight division on notice, in my opinion, just from what I see. I already knew that he had all the, the skills and the tools, especially being a smaller guy. You're faster, you're quicker. Um, you know, you're used to boxing from a more skill standpoint as opposed to power and brute strength. So those tools followed him up to heavyweight, and he showed that he got a decent chin on him. He showed that he, he has enough pop on his punches to make those big guys respect him. So in my opinion, that just puts Usyk on another level from all the guys at heavyweight. I think he's by far, not by far, but I just think overall, and I mean, you might, maybe you can say by far, as far as just pure skill, and the sweet science and boxing ability, I think Usyk separated himself as far as skill. So I really don't see any other guy at heavyweight that's as skilled as Usyk. Um, Tyson Fury has really good skill as well. I don't think he's on Usyk's level in terms of just pure skill, but he does have that element of being 6'9", 300 pounds. So that's always going to be a factor. No matter how skilled a guy is, that's a huge motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, we'll see how it all plays out, but y'all let me know down in the comments what did y'all think about his performance, man, and what do y'all expect to see from Usyk going forward in the, in the heavyweight division, man. Contender regime, boxing, I'll holler at y'all, boys, man.